Hello, here's a very simple way of connecting your iPhone 15 to your OBS or vMix. First of all, you would need a cable, which is the HDMI to Type-C, which has Type-C on the other end, so HDMI basically to Type-C. Of course, I do not need to mention that you need a capture card. In my case, I have the Elgato Cam Link, and I'm going to plug this end um, into that right now. Also going to download the Blackmagic Cam app, which is this app right here. And this app would allow you to output um, HDMI directly out of the phone. So um, first of all, I'm going to go into this. Take note that we have both visual. We have visual here and we have sound. If you can see the um, one two on the side, you can see the audio meter um, running. So I'm going to come to the settings down here, down to the bottom right. And I'm going to scroll to monitoring. Um, for audio, I'm going to put on the audio monitor, which is um, this switch right here. Audio monitor, I'm also going to um, allow the HDMI out to be clean feed. This HDMI out here is going to be clean feed because if you use mirror or any, or any other um, option, it's just going to mirror out what it's seen on your iPhone screen. So the clean feed would allow it to give you a clean feed of your um, camera. And um, I think we are done here in the menu. I'm going to go back to set it and I'm going to connect my Type-C now into my iPhone. So I'm just going to add an input. I have my vMix open and uh, make sure that you have all your connections done, which is the Type-C at the bottom of your phone and the HDMI and the capture card. So I'm going to click on add input now and I'm going to camera and my camera options. I would select the port for mine. I'm, I connected it to my um, HDMI 4. You could decide to select this. It's a HDMI connection. I'm going to specify that. And just in case this is on maybe unknown or maybe it's on, um, say, for example, none or it says built in audio. Um, there are cases when the audio just won't come with the device. So it's very important you make sure that you select the same um, um, source or input port for your audio. So I'm just going to do this right here to make sure my audio also comes in with um, with the, um, what do you call it now? With the video. So I'm going to select um, Camlink Pro 4, Audio 4, and I'm going to hit OK. Now, the thing now is you are not going to see audio here and in short, just to make sure this is fine, I'm going to go into um, my microphone. I deliberately turned this off before and I'm going to turn it back on right now just so that you can hear um, the audio. There was an echo earlier on because I also, in addition, um, turned on the um, audio of my phone recording. And that caused, um, you know, um, a sort of echo because it's recording twice, right? Um, um, to be attached to the recording. So whatever echo you hear on the video, um, bear with me. I'm recording all of this on my phone and that's why the echo is there. It's not a fault. Um, it's there because I needed to record both on my phone and also on the app um, together. Once it comes back on, you definitely would hear the echo, but I will switch to a cleaner audio. Going back to vMix, you would um, realize, realize that, that my audio, audio is, is now, now present. 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 You can record this directly and um, it's going to be fine as long as the video and, uh, and the sound is together. Uh, there's going to be some lag. Uh, yeah, there's definitely some lag, but it's not going to be that horrible depending on what you are making use of it, uh, what you're using it for rather. Uh, you could use this for presentations, demonstration, maybe you're trying to show something on your desk and stuff like that. And this is going to work perfectly fine. Not everyone is going to find um, this use case um, useful for them, but it's definitely useful um, to have. Bonus tip, um, I didn't mention, you could also make use of this for your presentation in case you need to present something directly from your mobile phone. Maybe you want to demonstrate how to use an app.
So that's it. There are different ways of supporting this channel. You could buy me a coffee. You could also use my affiliate links and all my links are present in my in the description. So make use of them if you're buying any item like um, this um, deck link or the, the, this keyboard and mouse that I also um, got out of Amazon. It's, uh, it's a lovely keyboard and mouse that works across three different devices at once um, using Bluetooth. If you make use of my affiliate links, um, I get a commission for whatever it is you purchase. So uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and do hit the like um, button and hit the bell icon just so that you know when a new video hits. Thank you for joining me on this one. Until next time, bye.